Kaizo Ironmon is the hardest Pokemon challenge that exists. You get one Pokemon. You can only level up against trainers. Meanwhile, those trainers have a 50% level increase. Everything is randomized. You can't buy healing and only use items you find on the ground. And it's permadeath. So if you die, it's over. So you're out of luck if you run into counter. I'm dead. I lose. That's it. I told you, dude. I told you, counter. Yeah. Or Parasong. So much is out of your control, which is why it just can't be beaten. You also got to get lucky. My goal, beat it in under a thousand attempts, which sounds like a lot, but considering the creator of the challenge is now at 7k attempts, I'd say I was overachieving. The first couple fights in Ironmon are some of the hardest. You have the rival lab fight, the first bug catcher, who is notoriously called Geo Jr., and the biggest wall, Brock. These are very difficult because of the level disadvantage from that 50% level increase I mentioned. My rival starts with Ivysaur. I was lucky enough to have a stab super effective move and wing attack, so I'm able to beat the rival. I was out of the lab and thought about changing my Pokemon to a wild Blastoise I found on Route 22, due to Charizard having that double weakness to rock. But because Charizard had a good stat distribution and stab wing attack, I decided to stick with him and challenge Geo Jr. Geo Jr. leads Ponyta, but I wing attack it down. Umbreon puts me to sleep, but luckily doesn't have anything too threatening and it eats my wing attacks. I'm able to clear out the rest of the forest without any close call, meaning it was time for Brock. Brock leads Wurmple, which is great. I use this opportunity to use a dire hit I found in Pewter, except it swaggers me, and I almost knocked myself out. If we don't... God dang it, dude. Come on, Cherzer. I don't want to die. I don't want to die to a Wurmple, man. I don't want to die to a Wurmple. Please. Oh, my God. <laughs> no way, dude. I cannot believe I'm going to lose to a god dang Wurmple. effective all right well let's hope uh, he has no steel or rock types because we're using wing attack this is uh, kind of embarrassing you're telling me we have plus two attack now though which is the good news we just don't need a rock or a steel type it's the ace Woo! nice crit let's go I'm still on cord no rocks, no steals. Encore is still up. Yep. Uh, okay. Resisted, 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 resisted. Yes! Encore ended! Let's go! <laughs> Woo! Charizard! Charizard! Let's go, Charizard! With the help of Wurmple, as Let's much as I almost lost to it, we were able to roll through Brock's team, spamming wing attack. Charizard, let's go! <laughs> Dude, that Wurmple. <laughs> we managed to get our sweeper Charizard past Brock. In Kaizo Ironmon, every Pokemon's stats are distributed randomly. Normally, a Charizard stat breakdown looks like this. This particular Charizard looked more like this. This goes for every Pokemon in the game too, so it's important to take note of what Pokemon have high defense, high speed, etc. We clear out Route 3 and buy the Magikarp, who also happens to be a Charizard, and then we enter Mount Moon, our first big dungeon. The dungeon rule is simple, once we leave, we may not re-enter. So it's important to grab all the items and get as much XP as possible, because we have another big fight coming up, the rival on the bridge. I find a rare candy, a full restore, and I learned Rock Throw while grinding XP. We found another Charizard, and then we leave Mount Moon at level 31. The rival on the bridge fight is tough because of the small level gap, and the lead Suicune almost gets the better of me. Okay, as long as it doesn't freeze me, we're fine. Jesus, please kill. Thank you. Had we not gotten as much XP as we did in Mount Moon, we would have lost the run. We clear out the bridge and the route to Bill's house and we learn nature power along the way. Helpful, but still no coverage for steel types. Important to note in Kaizo, I'm only allowed to use TMs I get from gym leaders and they're not always compatible. I farm as much XP as possible before a very important decision that has always plagued the Ironmon community. Do we fight Misty or do we clear the boat? We want to win, so we decide to fight Misty first and hope to get steel type coverage to our moveset. We make quick work of her and make our way to the boat. 
On the boat, I find some good items. We also see our rival's Ivysaur evolved into Muck. Then we try to get as much XP as possible. Early on, we get poisoned by an Omastar, and we had no cure outside of our full restore. Thanks, man. Oh, oh, come on, dude. Why is this thing so thick? Do I burn the full restore? Is your dolphin mascot like a chick or a dude? The dolphin can be whatever you want it to be. Like with a high PP move like wing attack, we have a we have a pretty good chance of full clearing Sylphco. We do have a rare candy. All right, yeah, let's leave. We do have a rare candy. So we leave a ton of XP behind on the boat to preserve the best item in the game. With the boat down, I clear out some of the trainers on Route 9 to get a bit of extra XP before taking on Lieutenant Surge. We really want to clear gyms for that chance to get a good TM to help improve our moveset. Lieutenant Surge also gives a 10% speed increase after you collect his badge. We beat up Surge, but no luck on the TM. Next up was Rock Tunnel. Rock Tunnel is the dungeon that gatekeeps the mid game. There's eight required trainers and because we can't re-enter, we can't leave to heal our Pokemon at all. We enter at level 48, so we're a bit behind because of the XP we lost on the SSN, so we needed this to go smoothly. We get poisoned at one point, but we had a Petcha Berry to cure it. But we could not have asked for a more smooth Rock Tunnel. We smash the wing attack button and we become the first ever to full clear the Rock Tunnel, which more than makes up for the XP loss at the SSN. We officially made it to the mid game. The mid game is pretty straightforward. At this point, we outlevel most trainers and we just try and get as much XP as possible and then clear out the dungeons. First, we take on the rocket hideout. While trying to soak up XP, a random reg ice hits me with the first rock move of the run and puts us at a dangerous health. Crazy. All right, we can tackle the, oh, there's our rock move. There it is, chat. Found it. Ooh, that hurt. We take on Giovanni next, who had some big threats. We get lucky and crit the Agron, who we still had no coverage for. We also crit the Vaporeon and wear down the tanky Regirock. Fighting Giovanni right now. Okay. Not a big deal. Should live it. This thing is thick, though. This is another reason why fighting would be really, really good. We play a bit risky and clear the rest of the rockets on low health, leaving at level 60. We save Mr. Fuji and get the Pokey Flute, and then we enter Erica's gym for another chance at getting a good TM. Erica has a Steelix, but the level lead allows us to topple it with only two Shadow Balls, and the rest of her team dies in one hit apiece. The TM she gives is Leer, so we continue with our current moveset. Next up was Koga, who has a level 65 ace, so we farm up XP on Cycling Road in the route east of Fuchsia. We run into a huge scare, Perish Song from a Groudon, which only gives me three turns to end the battle. Sneasel had low BST, so I wing attack it, but then the last trainer's Pokemon was Arcanine. 555 BST of big dogs staring me in the face, and that's when I knew the whole run rested on one single rock throw. So I have to rock throw then. Because with Stab, this is 90. This is 100. <sighs> yes. Yes! Okay. Woo! After collecting all the XP and items we could, it was time to challenge Koga. We made quick work of Koga's team. Koga's TM was Sonic Boom, so our moveset was in critical condition. With Koga's badge, we now had access to use Surf outside of battle, and then we use it to collect items from the power plant and Seafoam Islands. We then grab XP in the surfing routes and go to Cinnabar Mansion to unlock Blaine's gym, before heading to the biggest dungeon in the game, Sylphco. Sylphco has a massive 85 plus Pokemon inside. That's about five levels worth of XP, and I needed it. The best defense for this Charizard was offense, one shot or be one shot. So we wing attack every single Pokemon down, clean up the rival, and then challenge Geo. Geo has a couple of annoying Pokemon with Intimidate, but the rest of his team was weak, so we beat him without much trouble. We move on to the end game gauntlet. The end game gauntlet consists of three remaining gyms, Sabrina, Blaine, and final Giovanni. These were the only trainers left before we get to challenge the Elite Four. 
We start with Sabrina because she has the lowest overall levels and we roll the entire gym in Sabrina herself using wing attack. She gives us the marsh badge and the TM for hyper beam and we move on to Blaine. Blaine is where the levels get higher and we run into the thickest Rayquaza the world has ever seen. Yo, what? Uh, hello? Excuse me? Go back to Thickums Island. You are level 62. You are level 62, Rayquaza. Go away. Go away. That thing was thick as hell. We roll Blaine's team until his ace reg ice gives us some trouble, but it's nothing a couple wing attacks can't handle. Blaine's badge gives a special defense boost to help with our Zard's overall survivability. You're probably expecting me to say we mowed down Giovanni's gym with wing attack and we walked out unharmed. I wish that was the case. We start clearing the trainers and find another Pokemon with a rock move. We continue to clear trainers and pop one of our two rare candies to advance our Charizard to level 90. In Kaizo Ironmon, all Pokemon are set to the fluctuating XP curve and you actually save XP by using a rare candy on an odd level, which is why we only use one. It was time to take on Giovanni. His first two Pokemon go down with ease, but then he sends out Tyranitar who I had no good options for. What is this Pokemon? No! No! Oh, Jesus! No! No, 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 no. Okay, I think I might X-Defend here. X-Defend for sure. We raise the defense. Wing attack. Tyranitar is now on the list, yes. This Tyranitar was the single biggest threat I ran into. He was cutting into the resource I was trying to preserve for the Elite Four. But what would it matter if I didn't make it there? If he crits, we die. Yeah, crit kills no matter what, because it goes through the defense. Eat it. Okay. I didn't want Giovanni healing a Tyranitar with two Omniboos, so I knew there was only one play I could go for. And it was to use the item that got us through Brock. Dire hit. Okay. Alright. Wing attack. Give me a crit. Yes! Let's fucking go! Eat shit, Tyranitar. Let's fucking go. My hairs are like standing up on my body. Dude. You mother. Okay. All right, we're fine. <laughs> We did it. We collected all eight badges. We beat the final rival in his really tanky muck and head for the Indigo Plateau. We had a laundry list of extremely threatening Pokemon that could end the run at a moment's notice. I had made it to the Elite Four on two separate occasions and they both died at Lorelei. Just want to take a quick moment to say if you hear a dolphin noise during the Elite Four, it's a notification sound for a follow on Twitch. I was a noob. I didn't know how to turn the noise off. And thanks for watching the video. If you like Ironmon, follow me on Twitch. I grind these attempts daily. Time for the finale. Let's go. Del Caddy, good start. <clears throat> Wing attack. Okay, that's fine. She's locked into that. She can't heal. Okay, that did a fair amount to us. That di actually did a fair amount. Three down. Goodbye. Bada bing, bada boom. Easy. Now we hit him weak attack. Easy. Easiest game of my life. <clears throat> I will rock for this. Look at the line I'm taking. 
New PB! New PB! No slowing down! Keep the momentum! This might be a good opportunity to heal. However, growth is a little scary in case it has a water move. This is a pretty low BST Pokemon, however. I'm gonna fresh water here. Try and stay topped off. Beautiful. All right, we don't have our Chesto anymore, though. That's, that's okay. That's okay. I will take that. I will take that. This is Elite Four. Just don't paralyze me, please, and thank you. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. This Pokemon is a problem. This Pokemon is an issue. We don't want this Pokemon. This Pokemon is not welcome here anymore. Goodbye. That was a lot of damage. Oh, it's Hitbotchet. All right, this thing. Burn a Moo Milk here. Piss away your turn, Bruno. Freaking nerd. Let's go. Ah, uh, yes. Super effective water sports. Alright, he's Thick McGee here. This thing is super thick, so... Just gonna... Yeah. I'm getting use out of these while I can. Thank you. Oh my god. Our items are fine. Two down! Let's go! <clears throat> Pumpkin Amy would like to battle. This thing has static. Use nature power. I'm gonna go for the kill. It does have static, but I think we go for the kill here. That's fine. Play to win, exactly. Go for the kill. Ah. All right, it's fine. Okay, we know this thing is safe. Let's go. Let's go. None, zero, zilch, please and thank you. I ran a hoop. Guard spec war off the miss. I take it. We go rock throw, wing attack. Why didn't I nature power there? I'm actually dumb. Actually dumb. Play around the arrow blast crit here. Now we go wing attack for KO. Can you miss? It's only it's 95. It's not. Missing. Chimeco, more legs belong in the trash -o. Here, man. You have to have this good of healing going in. This is nuts. Last Pokemon. Two more! Two more! Do you need to elixir at some point during this fight? We just gotta find a safe Pokemon to do it on. Yeah, all the TMs have been shit. I'm not gonna get greedy. I did a pretty good chunk. They're gonna heal. So let's use all moon though. Swing attack once, see how much it does. Okay. Heat wave misses. Huge. Elixir. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Thank you. See you later, Flare Bear! Zap two. What do you have? I 
I care on the second Pokemon Guiles because they always send in the Pokemon with the best move for you second. It's annoying, however, it's fine. Farfetch was the ace, and it doesn't matter! It doesn't matter! He sucks! We're the Pokemon! Charizard! Mascot, baby! Oh. Yeah, sharpen. Keep sharpening. <sighs> Two quick ones! One more! Always play to win. Never play to lose slower. This was it. I made it to the champion. I strategically saved all my X items for this moment. It was time. Do or die. X defend first. Always X defend first. Lovely kiss. X defend again. Yeah, kiss me all you want. Kiss me. Give it to me, Mil Tank. Can we get some milk in the chat? Yeah, keep missing, Milk Tank! Keep missing! Now we go for it, chat! We go for it! It's now or never! We go for it! Jesus, hello? Whatever. What? Okay. Always play to win. Two! We've been praying for a fighting move all game. Okay, that's, that's, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Steelix. <sighs> this is okay. We still have a max pot. We're, we're fine. We're chilling. Ninety-four, baby. Ninety-four. Intimidate me all you want, nerd. I have plus one still. I'm not afraid of you. Use it again. That's fine. <sighs> Thank you! One more! One more, chat! We just fought you! You sharpen, Dugong! You sharpen! Doesn't matter! It's over! Less than a thousand! How pathetic! Less that I even considered I you a rival. I told you we won. I told you we won. Whoa! <sighs> ah! Let's go! We did it. 655 attempts is what it took to become one of the first to beat the hardest Pokemon challenge ever. We did it again, but I'll save that for another video. Thanks again for watching.